special is stir fry for $5.99 or chicken stir fry <laughs> for $6.99. Woo! On that note, we do long form improv. It's completely made up, and it's uh, tonight we're gonna the first act is gonna be in Armando Diaz, and all we need is a one word suggestion. Beer. 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 Uh, I like beer. I've, I've been a beer drinker my, my whole adult life, and uh, and um, well, I guess uh, if I had to say a favorite place to drink beer, uh, could be Dublin, Ireland. I've been there. That, I've never been in a place, my name is Patrick McGinnis, I've never been in a place where I felt so uh, surrounded by my like-minded folks. The other place would be, uh, well, let's see, I went to uh, Belgium, where there's a lot of beers from Belgium, a lot of like old Trappist beers with like 17% alcohol. You don't have to drink a lot of that to really have, have a good time. Um, and. Uh, I, I toured around Belgium. I uh, went, uh, went to Bruges. Have you ever heard of Bruges? There was a movie about it. I didn't see the movie, but the place is beautiful. Um, and I uh, went to a pub of over 300 beers. And you could have chocolate beer, banana beer, strawberry beer, any kind of beer you wanted. And uh, sky's the limit. So I uh, had a good time there in Belgium. And uh, that's pretty much what I got to say about beer. beer! Okay, well, the opposite of what he just said, actually, I've had beer, sips of beer in my life, and I. Don't really like it at all. Sorry if that alienates anyone out there. I'm also a little concerned about drinking beer only because I'm part German, part Irish, and part French. So I'm, I've got my genetics are really working against me in that area. But um, uh, beer is, I guess, is uh, Benjamin Franklin, actually. One of my favorite uh, people from the American Revolution said that beer is actually proof that God exists and that he loves us. So you know what? I may not like beer, but other people do, and that's what I think about beer. I have a very low tolerance for alcohol, um, so I don't drink. Um, but one of the first times I did drink, I had beer because it's uh, very prevalent in colleges for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and uh, so it was in New York City, and um, where I went to college. And uh, I remember I I got drunk and I got my hair done by this Australian hairdresser, um, who was straight. Um, and he was like, amazing at hair, oh my god. Like, um, and I, um, uh, I, like, I got my hair done, and I uh, stayed up until like, like this is how pathetic I was in college. I stayed up till like 1 a.m. and that was like so late. Not studying, not, not studying. <laughs> and, um, and so, and then I had to, um, it was in Brooklyn, whoa, like, Huge, huge trip, you guys, from Manhattan. Huge trip. It's like 15 minutes on the subway, but it was like such a big deal for me. And um, and then uh, and then I, I I came back and I took like come back by myself at like 1 a.m. on the subway, like tipsy with my hair done, and it was like such a crazy adventure. I thought I was being like so out there. And then uh, when I told other people at my school about it, they're like, yeah, so. Where's the weird part? And that's what I think about people. Beer! Right, right. You want that there too? Let's give it to you. It's right. Right here. Make sure it looks sexy. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm Australian. I don't know if I can do an eagle properly. Well, you know, do what you can. I just want to symbolize eagleness because eagles are free and I want to live on the wild side. You've been drinking a lot, haven't you? Oh gosh, yeah, I had like half a beer. Seriously? No, serious. Seriously. Uh, yeah. That hurts a lot. Oh my God. Is it supposed to hurt this much? Uh, uh, indeed. Uh, uh, indeed. Uh, if you move around like that, it, it ain't gonna turn out properly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's this gonna it's gonna turn out all smudgy. Yeah, you see, eagles, eagles symbolize freedom, and I want, I want, when people look at me, I want them to go, oh, that's a free guy right there. Roy is a free guy. Your name's Roy. Yeah. Uh, why do you, why, why do you want me to tattoo your own name on your arm? Because it means people won't forget who I am. <laughs> Plus, a lot of times. You know, when I have half a beer, which, you know, that's like real big partying. Uh, 
Right, right. Yeah, because, you know. Yeah, where I come from, it's not so much at all. Oh, gosh. Uh, one time, this whole group of guys at, at my frat house would be like, drink another beer! Drink the rest of the beer! Like, I was like, dude, I can't drink any more of this. I've already done half of it. Right, right. Makes you puke after a while, doesn't it? Oh, and once I got almost to a little more than half, and oh. Yeah, I, there's like some kind of form, like equation that describes a little more than half, but I failed that class. Oh, there you go. Let's get a mirror, see oh. if you like it. Oh, we got We got an eagle drinking a beer. Oh, very good. Yeah, I'm free man. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's got my name Roy. So exactly. people don't forget. Well, shall we do your ass next? Sure. <laughs> Dude, have you had this taco flavored beer? Oh yeah, it's the best! I know, you don't just have a Taco Bell on the way home, you just get wasted at the same time. Oh, it's great. It totally goes against the normal logic. Get wasted, get Taco Bell. Now you just go to Taco Bell. Right, right. That is awesome. Oh man, hey, take it easy on the Taco Bell, bro. Whoa. We hey, don't tell me what to do, man. I know my limit. Listen, that's six gorditas, all right? Yeah. On a, on a normal like scale, that's, that's like 25 drinks. <laughs> whatever. Okay, yeah. just whatever. Listen, hey, not everybody knows their tolerance for Taco Bell, okay? I'm just telling you, just take it easy, all right? We're friends. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whatever, dude. Listen, let me let me be straight with you, all right? Yeah. I think you got a Taco Bell problem. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I've got to be the one to tell you this, man. First it's parents, and it's my grandmother, now you. I wouldn't leave me alone. You know what? Maybe there's a commonality. People that care about you, that know you're digging if they cared about on the me, bell. They let me drink Taco Bell. Welcome to TA, Talk with Anonymous. Um, you know, I definitely eat way too many tacos, and my name is Beth. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Beth. Thank you. Hi, Beth. Hi. Um, my, my name is, is Susie, and I'm a, a talkaholic. Um, Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Yesterday, I had um, a crunchy taco and a soft taco, and one of the crunchy tacos wrapped up in a soft taco, and I followed it. No, no judgment here, guys. No judgment. I followed it with cinnamon twists. Oh, so. You were out of control. I know. I, I just can't stop myself. How long have you been without Taco Bell before that? Six minutes. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Susie, that's 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 heartbreaking. My my name is Tony, and and I'm not only a tacoholic, I'm a burrito holic too. Oh, Hi, Tony. Tony. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Um, I, I remember my first plate of nachos. You know, oh. that that, that not, they, they were just calling out to me, and they were cheesy goodness. It was oh man. Jalapenos and sour mm. cream, and I just ripped a piece off, and more came along with it because you can't ever separate really good nachos, you know what I mean? No, 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 not the good ones. I went, wrapped like three of them together around the cheese and I stuck <laughs> it in my mouth. And I, was, I can still taste it. It's, it was so Man. good. <laughs> Guys, you're supposed to be giving me support here. <laughs> no, it sounds great. It sounds great. Is this on sale? It sounds amazing. Wow. Love more. And did you just Recently, by any chance? No, no, no. It's five years ago. I've been I've been taco free for five years. Yeah. Can, we so take a Can we all just walk through the drive-thru right now? Just walk through the drive-thru. Just to prove to ourselves that we can do it. We can do it. Uh, we, can do it. Uh, we don't have to order. Can, oh, we have to. It's not time for fourth meal. We can't go through the, the drive-thru right now. It's so true. Thanks, Joe. Why do we need these conventions? Anyway, my name is uh, whatever he just said. Joe. 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 And uh, I forgot my name. That's all right. You've been on the taco, taco belt. The You've been on the it's border the for a while now, He's Joe. Been there. So, so anyway, my name is uh, Joe, and I'm a tacoholic, a burritoholic, and a nachoholic. I actually bathe in nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, Joe! And then, That's why your cankles look so smooth. I know. I know. <laughs> One benefit other than the. Than the and yeah. Massive cholesterol intake. Yeah, in the skin. and my hair and my hair, I wash my hair with the taco grease and I sleep in a giant burrito. I'm sorry. Hi, Joe. Hi. 
We're not going to judge you. Okay. No. It's a little weird, but Thank I'm still you. not going to judge you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Joe, do you want to get out of here? Let's go back to your place. Okay. All right. Hey, hey! <laughs> Well, I'm glad to have you because, you know, sometimes I feel so alone, you know? I mean, it was yeah. so long ago and everybody, you know, not everybody remembers the great ballads that that band put out. You know, Mbop, Middle of Nowhere. Mbop, Bop, Bop. Oh, don't even get me started on Mbop. This is like amazing. I feel like you have friends. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. A soulmate. A soulmate. Without question. You like Hanson? I like Hanson. You look like Taylor Hanson. You look like the other Hanson brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know I come across as a diehard, but I really don't know their names. But I know Taylor. Zach and I. Yeah, oh God, Zach. Oh, you look just like Zach. When he was younger, yeah. he was like. No, yeah, like 12. Right, or I was going to say pre tween, and that's yeah. pretty much right where he was at the time. God, you look just like him. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the big step. Oh a Taylor. Zach, Zach. Ike, Hanson, style <laughs> marriage. I mean, I, I don't know. I know I know. we just got started, but I'm ready. I'm ready yeah. for this. No, me too. I've, like, you know, I've been around everywhere. You know, I've been, I've seen a man from Milwaukee just like a song. And I, I, I don't feel like I'm going to find anybody else who looks like Hanson and likes Hanson in 2011 <laughs> at all. And we should just do this. We should just, wait, what's your name again? I forgot. I just met you. Well, I, I had it changed to Hanson, but it was originally, it was, uh, well, my, my first name was Hanson, but it wasn't spelled the same way, but it's Hanson now. So you changed like, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spelling. Yep, Hanson. Hanson, Hanson. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, we this is this. crazy. This it's is like crazy. This was made in heaven. Hi, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Oh, um, the catch a predator guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! This is a wig. <laughs> this is a wig. This is a wig. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. No, no, no. See, uh, I what? need you to be more in distress. Okay. okay. This this movie yeah. is up for a very special award in the Toronto Film Festival. We're still, we're still making it? It's already up for an award? Well, that's what, my dream is oh, for okay. it to be up for an award. Okay. okay, so we need to have you more distressed about your your piglet dying, okay? Okay. Just, has any pet of your dying died? Uh, like, yeah, I had a hamster when I was like good. five. Good! Did, yeah. did it die? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. I want you to just <laughs> think about that. Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me, could yes. you guys we start the next scene? I, um, I brought your engraving for your Oscar. Good. That you haven't won yet. Yes. So I'm just gonna put yes. it over. Okay. Here. Let me let me just look at it real quick. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Oh good. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry, it's tend to have the scene. That's expensive. I know, but it, yeah. it helps, keeps me going. Okay. For the thing you haven't won yet? Don't worry about that. We're gonna you have to visualize. Haven't you read any of these books before? Well, you have to visualize the success you're gonna have. Okay, okay. now, now look, yeah. cry, cry over the piglet. Cry, yes, sadness. Okay, are we getting this, guys? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa, piggy! Yes. Whoa, there yes. It was gonna be my favorite bacon. <laughs> oh. Good, talk more about the bacon. The bacon, you were, you were bred specifically for bacon.
Great. Thank you. Just let us know when it comes out. I will. Okay. All right. What? What was that? Nothing. Nothing. This is about art. It's all about art. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All about art. Um. Okay. Well. So can you plug Swanson Bacon earlier in the piece? Like. I, yes. Oh, you reminded me of a bacon. Swanson's bacon. Boiling in the morning. Isn't that going to be kind of see through though? We're going to like kind of tell if that's product placement or whatever. We're up for the product placement Toronto There's Festival Award. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Are you questioning? Wait a second. No, Are you questioning I'm my directing talent? I'm just. This is not any movie I've ever worked on before. People usually worry more about the you know story instead of. Sh work. Sean Penn. Listen. Yeah. Just because you've got all those Academy Awards yeah. and all the you know, all those fancy movies. And I beat up all those photographers. Yeah. 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 Just do you think that you're you're too high to sell out? No. Is that what? I, no, I just this is just not what I'm used to. It's it's really weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. You've never done anything weird. Before. I've never, no, especially I've never actually had a dead real piglet uh, used in a movie like this. Uh, you know that movie about you being retarded with Sam? Yeah, I yeah, Sam. yeah. Yeah. That was weird. This is. Pure sellout. Ah, oh, welcome to the pub of over 300 non-alcoholic beers. Oh, thank you. I'm vacationing. This was really good in the guidebook. Oh, it's a top, yes, yeah, a big pub crawl here. Is All the non-alcoholics come from here. Just because they want to say they had a, a beer in Ireland. I'm really religious, so I don't like to drink at all. Oh, no, it doesn't go against any religious code. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so I'm going to try the, what is that, peach ginger That's a lemonade. peach ginger lemonade, non-alcoholic. Non yeah, sure. Enough? Oh, yeah, sounds good. Interesting, huh? There you go. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Slancha. Hi, Slancha. Oh, you've been around, have you? I'm just a wee bit to the gay, like. Oh, <laughs> that is a wee bit. Ah, that's good. It'll get you tipsy in your head. <laughs> not really. No, it's I, not alcohol. I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm tipsy. I know, I know. You should do something crazy. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, this is like crazy, but I'm on vacation. Okay. Um, yeah, well, when in Ireland. Okay, here. You gonna take a picture? Okay, no, let's do like, okay, like, um, uh, like, okay, um, I'm wearing your hat. Oh, put on the hat, kid. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, you're just out of control. Yeah. I got a t shirt that says, I got out of control at Patty's Pub. Not up the whole experience of over three hours. I want that. I want that. You want one of these? There you go. Take it. It's on, it's on me. Sometimes. It's like, oh my god. Okay, it's like, it's like. Oh, oh. It's like girls gone wild and they have to like show you oh, my boobs. Totally, yes. No, no, no. I have a lot of. Yeah, please. Go right in. Oh, yeah, take a picture too. Oh, look at the. It's my tank top because I can actually jump in real no, 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 you're religious. <laughs> okay, maybe, like... A couple more sips of the strawberry lemonade non-alcoholic. This is not non-alcoholic, I swear to God. This is like, okay, let's I don't do that. I get crazy. I'm Ooh! Like looking at my tank top. <laughs> oh, perfect. Love it. <laughs> like, you, you, do you, you want to make it out? Like, seriously, like... Okay, so like, here's the deal. Like, my boyfriend, like, sucks. I just, like, want to make out. Well, I, I would, like, I would, so not drunk right now, I, oh my god. I don't want to take advantage of a girl that's just uh, done several sips of uh, non-alcoholic... Strawberry, lemonade, the fizz, the ginger fizz, yes. Uh, I would not want to take advantage of you, honestly. It's a Listen, storefront on Patty. You're Irish, and that's hot, because it's like Colin Farrell. Mm. And it's like, oh my god, okay, I'm going to finish like three quarters. Alright, take it easy, take it easy. I don't want to get a bad name around these neighborhoods. So yeah. Anyways, so you're really cute. Bet you say that to all the non-alcoholic pub distributors. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. I hear that all the time, and I know if you, you drink too much of the strawberry lemonade and your fizz and non-alcoholic, you get crazy. So that sketch actually reminded me that I have never had a beer in my entire life, ever. It's like, I'm not joking. I grew up in Utah. Uh, they, you can drink there. I didn't. Um, my family actually was really big into like root beer and ice cream, and we made our own. It was fantastic because you, all you need to make really good root beer is a lot of sugar and a little bottle of flavoring and dry ice. So dry ice is, is it's just fun stuff. 
I don't know if anybody's ever like got their own dry ice and made it, and like made something out of it, but you just dump it in the water and it makes fog and it goes everywhere. And so they, they do like the Halloween things where you know you get little kids in the, the haunted houses and the fog comes out. Um, anyway, I think a lot more about fog than I think about beer. 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 Mmm. I love to drink root beer. I am so not a beer person. Like every once in a while I have a little sip of my husband's, but he's always like, oh, it's my beer, you can't drink. That's what he really sounds like. I'm like, no. I don't, I, I don't want a whole beer. I just want to have a little bit of it. So, so my favorite thing is root beer. But I like root beer from Jamaica. And like the most strong ginger or root beer that you can imagine. It's really, 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 really strong. Actually, ginger beer is the best thing on earth. And if I could make my own ginger beer, I would set up a still in the back of my house and I would brew my own ginger, I would like throw ginger roots in there and, and like the gas would be coming out and all my neighbors would be like, oh my gosh, she's completely crazy, what is she doing in there? And the fumes would be circulating all around the neighborhood and then they would call some kind of people in to arrest me and take me away and it's like, oh, that's the crazy lady who's brewing her own ginger beer in the backyard take her away and I'm going to make ginger plants inside the house with lights and it would be very, very, like, very cool. But that's what I think about beer. beer. Dad, Dad, I got my hand in dry ice. Oh, God. Oh, no. I got my hand in dry ice. All right, uh, we need to do something. Uh, oh, jeez. It's going to break. How did you do this? I, I just put it in because the lid was open. Oh, I shouldn't have opened that lid. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. No, seriously, if anything else, I mean, if, if it freezes up, we can keep it cryogenically on ice. I mean, it's on ice, right? So I think we'll be fine. Let's just move the whole box. Let's move the whole box. All right, good, good, good. All right, let's just, uh, we're going to move the whole box. We're going to go to the hospital, and hopefully by the time we get there, it hasn't, uh, you know, broken off. <laughs> My hand's going to break off. Oh, no, 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 no. Remember last time? Right, you put your foot in there, it didn't break off, we got to the hospital within a reasonable amount of time. How long have you been sitting there? Uh, an hour. Oh, jokes. Oh. I was on my iPod. Hi! Hey! Oh, my oh, my oh, hands oh, are oh, What are you doing here? Oh, come on. Oh, it's going to turn green! No, it's fine. It's fine. not going to be cool. Oh, you're home early. Right? It's fine. You're supposed to be a hand model. I know, and I'm sure oh. she's still going to be. Oh, everything's going to be fine. It's Look, Halloween! Move closer to mommy. Everything's fine. Oh. And we're gonna right away! Right away! Right away! All right. Right away. Can I have shit papers? Yes. Yes, because American Idol's on tonight. <gasps> I want to go for the winner. All right, and you're going to. You're Can going to. Yeah, come together. Sit. Sit. All right. Okay, good. Here we go. Everything's going to be fine. It's on ice, so it should be okay. Oh, it'll be fine. And I want to go trick or treating after this. Definitely. Oh, right away. Definitely. Okay, ready? Oh. 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 I don't Sit like it. No, no, no. What? This is never gonna work. No. 
This is just a wash tub. So? You can't make root beer, good root beer, in a hot wash tub. I looked it up on, on the mail.com. Oh, God. Why do people think the internet has all the answers? It does. I've been making root beer since I was knee high to a root beer tree. And I know how to make good root beer. Teach me, master. Okay, first thing. You gotta make sure you have plenty of root. Yeah, oh my gosh! What? You need to get underneath the sink. Under the sink. Okay. Under, okay. Okay. Don't say anything. Pretend right, like you're right. just a regular black dude, right. not a Jamaican dude. <laughs> not to John. John. Daisy. John. No, that something smelled so good. I just had to come over and, and see what was going on over oh, here. Oh, John. Smells so good? <laughs> no. no! No! No, John! John, you back off! Uh, really? I... John? No, no, no! John, one more step! It's coming closer! Oh, no, I swear that sounds like a Jamaican man! But here, I was just gonna tell you that we're gonna have a barbecue Friday night, and you're welcome to come on over. Oh, 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 get it off of me! Get it off of me! Mama, that's enough. 
Sarah have been at that no alcoholic pub. Oh my 
Patrick open down here? The no Alcoholic Dance Club. It's 18 and under, actually. It's, uh, not sure what they've actually gotten up to. I think uh, perhaps those, those popsicles just have too much sugar or something. I always To yeah. think that would happen in the eaves of all places. Oh, no, in eaves. Oh, on, on a similar note, Taco oh, that's disgusting. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> on a similar note, Taco Bell has done a strict recall of over 1,000 Mexi Melts. Evidently, they were laden with beer. Oh my goodness, it's insane. Unreal. Unreal. And our next story. We have a story of another child who was horribly injured in a tragic dry ice accident. Uh, this child's hand apparently was in dry ice all throughout American Idol and the local news after. Unbelievable. So what, here were we they watching our show? No, it's on Fox. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Horrible. Um, here we have reporting on the story is our own Beth Correa. Beth Correa, you're live on the scene. Thank you so much, Heidi. This is a tragic story because the poor little girl, Sarah, had her hand in ice and she had to torture herself, not only through the entire episode of American Idol, through all the horrible songs, but then she had to watch the local news and find out a lot of horrible things had happened in her local community. I, I would say watching another news channel is torture. <laughs> okay. By my standards. There was no good news that night as her hand froze into small splinters. And when she finally pulled her hand out, it was a frozen stump. Oh my goodness. Oh, that hurts That's just to hear it. I know. It is. Ouch. It's, it's really, right really, really sad. Gets you right in your heart. Back to you, Heidi. Thank you, Beth. You know, Heidi. We haven't had a chance to really get to know each other on the air. No, we haven't. So tell me about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a Taurus. I'm a Libra. Um, oh, just opposites. So. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah. Know. I thought actually that was an in for me. No. <laughs> no? No, if you were a Scorpio. Oh, that's right. I was born that. in November. Oh, you missed it by a few weeks. Am I close? <laughs> Close. Okay. But no cigar. Okay. No phone number. So no chance. No chance. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's all we have tonight, so thank you very much, and that's our show. We'll be back in five minutes. <laughs>